Hello everyone. As you can see, we got some snow coming down out here today. So no bottle hunting, that's for sure. So I figured this would be a good day to make that video where I show what I look for and choosing a creek or a river to go look for bottles. So stay tuned and I'll pull up the computer and we'll get into some maps. All right, so this is just going to be a very basic overview of what I look for when I'm trying to find places to creeks and rivers to search for bottles. So this is called historicaerials.com. You can see the website up here. You just punch that in there and this is the screen that will pop up. And you click on view images. And at this point in this box here, you can put in your address zip code and it'll bring up your city and state. You got your aerials over here. Bring you through a long list of the um, years that you can select. And for this purpose of this video, I'm just gonna use the default screen that pops up. So let's click on topos. I always select the oldest available that's what you want you want old bottles so this looks like Tempe Arizona okay you got all these little black squares those are houses and you got a nice river running right beside it so if I was going to hunt this this area right here Generally, what I look for is these black squares. The closer they are to the water, the better. Let's see if we can find some of those real quick. Let's zoom out. All right, so for instance, right here, you've got a house that is right along the water's edge. So what I would look for is I would find where you can access first you got to find where you can access the river first and foremost around here we have a lot of parks and boat ramps and then as you find that hop in the river and you also got to know if this is a deep river or not. is it something that you can walk or do you need a kayak so you definitely got to research that I don't know how deep this river is so I would definitely be taking my kayak and what I would bank on being 1915 this house probably threw their trash right here in the river you know they probably fished right here in the river tossed a bottle in that they were drinking as they were fishing you know that's that's generally how i find stuff i pick spots where there's houses right along the water and hope that they threw stuff in it doesn't always pan out that way i've walked many a creek and paddled many a mile on the river to not find anything you know here's another here's a really good spot it's a nice cluster of houses generally close to the water you know i'm sure these people spent time down here washing clothes fishing getting food and i'm sure they have bottles with them you know they, they could have dumped their trash here so this could be like a small community dump area right here that you may stumble across you know, another, another point to bring up is this city right here, Tempe. I'm sure they had a trash dump probably somewhere along the water. That's just what people did back in the day. Push it by the water and the water carry it, carry it away, out of sight, out of mind. Another spot is uh, bridges. This looks like a bridge right here, a bridge right here, you know, if, People were taking a wagon across and they wanted it to lighten their load. They'd throw their trash right off the bridge. It's just another thing to look for. As, you, as you're in the water and you're approaching a bridge, slow down a little bit. You never know what you're going to find. Let's see, what else can we talk about? You got a railroad bridge here too. I mean, that's pretty much it. That's my method. It's, I mean, it's not... It's not anything advanced. There are overlays you can use on this website. I really haven't dived into that. 
myself personally. I just pick the oldest topographical map and I go where these squares are. I have stumbled across, you know, some house dumps as well as a larger larger city dump a couple years ago and I really don't know what I'm doing as far as digging for bottles. It does interest me. I know it's a lot of work. And I did hop out of the kayak at that time and I scratched around a little bit and found a couple soda bottles. I know there's more there. I'll probably head back sometime this year. Check it out a little further. But this is just a, a short guide that shows what I do. You know, you just got to know where the structures were, where the check out where the bridges were and get out there and just start looking. That's pretty much it. And the only other thing you need to know really is where there's access points on the river. You know, there could be a boat ramp here, boat ramp here. You'd have to search for that in your uh, own town. Because what I usually do is I'll try to, when I'm by myself, you know, obviously you can't leave a vehicle here or a vehicle here. So I usually just go against the current, hunt it slow, and then paddle my way back, back to the ramp. And then... Maybe next time I'll get in the other ramp and do the same thing. Go up to the next spot and paddle back. I mean, it's it doesn't always work out to where you're going to find stuff. So best point is to not get discouraged because believe me, I have had my share of hunts the last couple of years where you find a mason jar lid and that's the only thing you found. That's pretty much it. I hope that helps somebody. Just be safe when you do it. If you're walking, make sure somebody knows where you're at. If you're kayaking, make sure somebody knows where you're at. And always have on your life vest, especially when you're in a spot where you don't know how deep it is. Definitely want to be safe out there. No, no bottles are worth uh, drowning over, that's for sure. So again, I hope this helps somebody out. That's just what I do. Oh, and I can also tell you another couple websites to go to for maps. This one is historicmapworks.com. Just type in your city. And these maps are generally older than the ones you'll find on historic aerials. And then you can also check out the uh, Sanborn fire insurance maps. I think those are a little harder to get to. There are some available online, but if you hit your local library, it's definitely a good idea. So that's pretty much it. It's January here. Happy New Year to everybody. I'm just waiting for some warmer weather to really get out there and start uh, finding some bottles. I got a new camera. Uh, my wife got me a new camera for Christmas. It's a GoPro, so I'm really looking forward to doing some underwater shots. I'm really excited about that. Until until next time, thank you for watching.